get it because we've been talking about the brilliant event too. I'm just, I'm, I'll stop. Hello, interwebs, and welcome back. I'm Shannon, the story share my life and stories and news and opinions and whatever else I feel like. And we are back today with another Harry Potter Wizards Unite video. And if you're wondering what this is behind me really quick, um, I just got done teaching and my kotatsu is really warm and I'm all bundled up. I don't know when I move, so this is where we're doing this today. Uh, sorry I haven't uploaded a video yet of my Legends of Hogwarts event footage. I promise that will be coming. I've just had a really crazy week and a crazy weekend, so I haven't been able to edit that footage yet, but I will do my best to get that out hopefully sometime this coming weekend. If not earlier, um, I'm doing my best, but we have some other updates that I want to share with you today. I'm not going to lie, I was feeling extremely anxious because we have the new Brilliant event starting and according to my game, and probably a little, you know, closer by the time I upload this, six hours and 44 minutes that is supposed to be starting. So I was like stressing out because we hadn't heard anything until about halfway through my work day today about what was going on with this event and normally we hear several days before so we can prepare but they finally released some information so let me go ahead and share that with you okay so first I want to show you guys on the actual Harry Potter Wizards Unite website they have the dates of the events coming up we have December 3rd through the 10th the Christmas Calamity Brilliant event part 1 the December Community Day is on December 14th which is also a little bit stressful because December 14th and 15th or is it 13th and 14th whichever day is the Saturday Sunday is also community day for Pokemon Go so we're gonna have to try and figure that out but then Christmas Calamity Brilliant week part 2 is December 17th through the 24th and there's also there's also a special 12 tasks of Christmas event which that will be coming up I'm assuming it's probably going to be coming up closer to Christmas, but they don't have the information out for that. Obviously, when they do, I will get it to you guys ASAP on here, definitely as quickly as I can on Twitter. And I will be traveling at the end of the month, so I'm just, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Um, but stay tuned, and I will keep you guys in the know. So now let's come over to the Wizards Unite Hub. So this is the Brilliant Event Christmas Calamity Week 1 Guide from the Wizards Unite Hub. Basically the event is starting December 3rd, 2019 at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. So that's actually going to be December 4th, very early in the morning for us here in Japan, but it's coming. And then it's ending December 10th, 2019 at 2 p.m. Eastern Time, which means it's going to be December 11th very early in the morning for us here in Japan. It says we are going to relive the winter wonderland at the Hogwarts Yule Ball, including memories of couples like Hermione and Victor, as well as Hagrid and Madame Maxine. Even only 3k port keys, brilliant foundables, brilliant runestones, and brilliant event tasks, and there will be a free store pack of two potent extimulo potions and 25 spell energy. I love when we get the free potent extimulo potions because I go through those so fast. So looking forward to that for sure. So we're going to earn up to 14 restricted books as well as a whole bunch of other wonderful things. Let's take a look at the quests which is what I'm sure most of us are waiting to hear about because we don't have a lot of time to prepare like we normally do. For Christmas Calamity Quest Part 1 out of 4, we have to collect 5 Yule Ball invitations from inns, return 3 medium threat or higher foundables, and then add one friend. So as we've talked about before with the adding a friend, go on Twitter, go on Reddit, Go on your Discord servers, get your friend ready so that way when this event starts, you can go ahead and add them and get that out of the way very quickly. For the Collect 5 Yule Ball invitations from ends, I'm assuming this is going to be a random drop. We don't know what that percentage is going to be, obviously, so just make sure you're out and about and wandering around and hitting up those ends while you're doing so. Then returning three medium threat or higher foundables. The medium threat ones don't have a streamer on them, so those should be easy to find. And then obviously if you end up with a lot of yellow streamered ones like I do, then you'll definitely be set because the higher ones do still count. 
For part two of four, we have to brew four potions, send five gifts, and collect five Yule Ball invitations from greenhouses. So for brewing four potions, that means that you don't actually have to brew them at that exact moment. It just means if they're hovering over the cauldron and waiting for you and you tap on them, that's when they count. So because we don't have a lot of time to prepare for this and I didn't know what was going on, I already have a bunch of potions brewing. Oops. So that means that by the time I wake up in the morning, at least one extimulo potion will be done, maybe two, and then I have two more waiting for me. So I may or may not spend gold to finish them. We'll see what they're looking like as far as gold and time and if I get through part one of four on my way to work or not. Um, but yeah, if you have time, if you can prepare for that, make sure they are hovering over the cauldron. Don't tap on them, wait until you get to part two of four, and then tap on them and you can collect that very easily. Next, we have to send five gifts. So if you're like me and one of the first things you do in the morning on your way to work is collect and send your gifts, wait until you get to part two out of four and send your gifts then and you'll be set there. Then we have to collect five Yule Ball invitations from greenhouses. So that means you're going to have to hit up at least five greenhouses. And again, I don't know if these drops are going to be random or if it's going to be every greenhouse. And you do have to wait five minutes in between the time that you swipe up on the pots at the greenhouses. So keep that in mind. You might have to wander around a little bit. You might have to wait around a little bit depending on how many greenhouses are in the area that you're playing in. But hopefully that will be doable for you guys. Now for part three or four, we have to collect seven Yule Ball invitations from Gnome Confoundables, which, I mean, again, will it be a random drop or will it just be every Gnome Confoundable that we come across? I don't know. Um, hopefully it's every one that we come across because seven may or may not be a lot depending on the spawn rate for the Gnome Confoundables themselves. I don't know, we'll have to see. Then we have to win five Wizarding Challenges, which, is easy enough, especially if you're, you know, doing lower level challenges. Then we also have to return five brilliant Haggard and Madame Maxine foundables. So that should also be fairly easy. Um, I'm excited to see those. For part four of four, we have to collect 15 Yule Ball invitations from Gnome Confoundables. Again, same as before, will it be random? I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. We have to open three port keys. Now, because it is opening them, I think that means that you're going to have to not stock them up and wait and pop them, like, at the same time. And by pop them, I mean, like, go into them, um, like I always do. That means that you're going to have to actually have them unlocked during part four of four. So if you can time it right, you might be able to get most of your steps in and get your port keys close to being opened during part three. And then just before you get to part four or just when you get to part four, start a walk in again and open those port keys. For the third one, we have to return five brilliant Harmony and Victor foundables, which again, will also be really fun. I really didn't see that many of these special confoundables or foundables during the Legends of Hogwarts event, so I'm excited that we're getting another chance to see them. Uh, even though they're going to be brilliant this time, it's still exciting, and that hopefully means that we'll also see some more of the regular ones too. Now we have another bonus assignment, and once again, I'm really glad that they're continuing to do these bonus assignments. But basically, for the bonus assignments, we have to collect 30 Yule Ball invitations from Brilliant Traces, return 15 high threat or higher foundables, and then send 10 gifts. So this may or may not be something that you can complete in one day, depending on how many friends you have and how many friends have actually opened their gifts that you can send them to. But if you need more friends, like we talked about for the part one of four tasks, it's very easy to find some more. There are lots of resources for that. And uh, I hope that you have lots of friends you can send gifts to and receive gifts from. It's fun. Let's take a look at what some of these are going to look like. So we have Harmony and Victor here, super cute, Hagrid and Madame Maxine. I just love them. They're adorable. Hm. 
<laughs> brilliant grumpy Ron. I love that. I love that. We also have the brilliant punch bowl. I'm not gonna lie, that looks like some delicious punch. I wonder if it's alcoholic. Hmm. We have the Yule Ball program and the brilliant ice sculpture castle. Now the Yule Ball program is gonna come from the brilliant port keys and the brilliant ice sculpture is going to come from the wizarding challenges. Now, if for whatever reason, rune stones are an issue and getting that brilliant ice sculpture of the castle from the challenges is an issue for you, attempt to do the rude car, <laughs> attempt to do the higher level fortress battles. The higher you can go in those fortress fortresses, the more likely you are to get drops of these things while you're in the fortress. I typically do anything from tower one to tower three usually, but again, the higher you go, the more likely it is. And that's for any of the drops that you need from fortresses. If you can get into those higher level battles, you're going to be more likely to get good stuff. So I just want to add what it says about Community Day. Again, we don't have a whole lot of information, but here's a little bit. It says that for the December 14th Community Day, we're going to lend Hagrid a hand with caring for his magical creatures by helping return foundables from Hagrid's Hut registry page. Special port keys will whisk you away to Hagrid's Hut to unlock some of the rarest magical creatures. Make sure to bundle up and stay warm as you're out adventuring. So guess we're gonna we're gonna see how that goes it'll be nice to have a little bit of a change from the last one as much as I love doing fortresses it'll be nice to go out and wander and walk and move instead of just kind of sitting still for three hours so I'm looking forward to it it should be really fun and we're just gonna have to try and figure out how to make it work with the Pokemon Go event happening as well We'll see how that goes. I'll, uh, I'll keep you guys posted if I come up with any brilliant ideas. Get it? Because we've been talking about the brilliant event too. I'm just, I'm, I'll stop. Don't subscribe. Actually, do. If you're not. Alright guys, so what are you thinking about these events coming up? I'm pretty stoked about it. I'm pretty excited. I think it'll be really fun to get through them. Community Day is going to be really fun. It sounds like they've got something fun planned for Christmas, even though I'll be out of the country. Hopefully I have internet. We'll see. Um, but yeah, I'm excited and I hope you guys are too. Let me know down in the comments what you're excited about, what you're worried about, if you have any questions about anything. I'm sorry there's not going to be any gameplay in this one. Like I said, I'll do my best to get to that for you guys. But I hope you guys liked it anyway, because... That pretty much wraps it up for this one. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you don't know what to comment down below, you can leave a lightning bolt emoji, of course, for Harry Potter. Not only does it let me know that you were here, it gives us a chance to chat, and it lets me know you made it to the end of the video, but I just love to see yo faces down there. If you want another way to support my channel, down below there are links to my Patreon, my merch store, and my website. There's zero obligation to check any of those out, but if you want to, you can. I thank you guys so much for always being here, for supporting me. I hope that you not only enjoy these Wizards videos, but you also enjoy all of my other random content, and uh, I'll see you guys very soon. Thanks so much. Bye! Oh, hello there. Yes, uh, this is me casually drinking from my Ginky AF merch because uh, I don't have any bloopers to share. But if you like my cup or my shirt or some leggings or some socks, there's links in the description below. Be Ginky as and enjoy your coffee or tea or water or whatever else you like to drink from mugs. <laughs>